While we were on our adventure, checking out the tower called Codename Cannonball on top of Cross Mountain, and also checking out and trying to find, of course, the uh, Mason-Dixon Mal Marker 117, we were in the area of another interesting uh, object of history that uh, goes missing on the radar, so to speak. And uh, this one was actually on a different mountain called Cove Mountain. This phenomenon was just along the road that led up to the Cannonball Tower. And we were able to find it. And uh, this piece here is actually written by my father, Calvin E. Bricker Jr., on May the 20th, 2022. Uh, and it's entitled The Iron House. And uh, we went to visit it. And I'm going to read his, uh, his research off to you here. So it goes as follows. Southwest of Mercersburg, Pennsylvania, is a region known as the Corner, at the very top of Cove Mountain, where it connects to Cross Mountain in Dunn's Gap, stands a unique building. The building is a little bigger than a two-car garage. It is made entirely of quarter-inch steel plates connected to an iron frame with hundreds of iron rivets. The construction is similar to an old iron ship. The building is anchored to a stone foundation with a stone and dirt floor. This iron building protects access to an old pipeline that was constructed in the early part of the 20th century. There are several large square brick holes in the floor that I assume gave access to the pipeline. According to Eugene Huntsberger, the building protects a portal to the pipeline that was used to insert specialized plugs that were forced through the system to clean the pipes. Eugene's father, Clarence Huntsberger, regularly walked the pipeline from his house in Claylick, south of Mercersburg, to Cumberland, Maryland. His job was to inspect the pipeline and its structures, including this iron building, for maintenance issues that included possible gas leaks and report his findings to the pipeline regional supervisor. The building was constructed of iron plates to provide maximum protection from vandals and forest fires. Forest fires were a particular threat in the early 20th century. Local people would regularly set the mountains on fire to improve the huckleberry crop piss off the rattlesnakes, and to collect an additional source of needed income since the state paid local residents a small fee to fight forest fires. This was definitely a win-win situation for some of the local residents during the Great Depression in the 1930s. A hundred years ago, large numbers of people in August would swarm the mountains to pick huckleberries for personal use or for sale. This section of the old pipeline has not been in use for decades, being replaced with a newer pipeline several hundred yards north of this site. The forest has reclaimed the old pipeline right away. There is very little evidence that suggests that there is a pipeline here, with the exception of this unique building, which the locals always referred to as the Iron House. Dunn's Gap Road was an extension of Shimpstown Road that crossed Cove Mountain where the old pipeline crossed and entered the Little Cove south of Sylvan, Pennsylvania. This road was extremely steep and ruddy, but was used as a major route from our area, which is Mercersburg, Pennsylvania, to the Little Cove until the state built the new state road 456 connecting Route 16 west of Cove Gap to the Little Cove. In the early 1930s. And that is the brief story and history of the Iron House on top of the mountains in the corner located in uh, southwestern Franklin County, Pennsylvania. Um, if you enjoy these stories, uh, please uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll try to continue to uh, bring you more of them. And until next time.